Hello, Canada. It's New Music Nation, Yo, Canada, where we spotlight the talents of artists from across the country. I'm Ed the Sock, and uh, today we've got a huge selection of talent for you. Um, we're going to have an interview later with an artist known as Howlin' Circus. Oh, so the Howlin' Circus will be coming later. I imagine that'll be crazy and madcap. And that'll be the first interview we've done with an artist on New Music Nation. Usually I talk to people who just happen to be on the street. This is somebody who's actually showing up to talk to me. So we'll be talking to Howlin' Circus a little bit later. Uh, but up first, I was surprised to find this, uh, this artist in this video. If you're of a certain vintage, you know the name Carol Pope from Rough Trade. She has a very, very distinctive voice and she's one of the most uh, probably celebrated and, uh, and noted vocalists in Canadian music which of course means that a lot of people haven't heard of her, uh, but she's terrific. And she's with this group, Church of Trees. Uh, the video is called Worlds of Bitch. It's uh, supposedly a mix of synth, electro pop, and indie edge and ambient, but I don't know what any of that means. All I know is that I like the video and I love listening to Carol Pope. You can see her voice hasn't lost any of its timber over the years and neither has she. So this is Church of Trees, Worlds of Bitch on Yo Canada. Outside of Ryerson University, uh, downtown Toronto, and I'm wondering what's in those bags. There's giant bags there. They don't smell particularly bad, even though it's a hot day, so it's probably not trash. So I'm wondering what's in the bags. What do you guys think? What do you think's in those bags over there? 
No? See, they're bu they're baffled. They're completely baffled. I don't know what's in them. Hey, how you doing? What do you think's in those bags over there? Salt? Salt? Okay. It's, it, it's a guess. It's a guess. All right, so we've got one vote for salt. Hey, Tim, come here. <laughs> what's the matter with you? All right. Um, so, so far, salt is the first guess, and there's nobody else walking by I can ask. So we'll go to the video instead. The video is uh, called Whinge. Whinge. It's an interesting vo uh, word, whinge. And uh, it's from a band that formed in 2019 in Regina, Saskatchewan. They're compared to Simple Plan and Blink-182. Uh, this is Hiding from Humans and Whinge. Hey, guys, what do you think's in those bags over there? What? People? You think there's people in there? All right. All right. Well, we'll have to find out. How you doing? How you doing? Tim. Welcome back. Hey, what do you think is in the bags over there on the stairs? What do you think's in those bags? Crack. crack? That's a lot of crack. Mind you, we are in downtown Toronto. There's a lot of consumers for it. Hey, guys, what do you think's in those bags over there on the stairs? Over there on the stairs. What's in the bags? All right, they weren't, they weren't very helpful. Hi, what do you think are in the bags over there? What's in the bags? No idea? Ma'am, what do you think are in those bags over there? No? Hi, I love your mask with the shark teeth. Yeah, that's cool. Hey dude, what do you think's in the bags over there? Maybe a shirt. 
All right. Um, so far, not a lot of people willing to take part of our, in our little game show here, uh, where the prize is nothing. But that's very similar to what you get in most Canadian game shows. All right, we're gonna play a band that this band is is uh, really popular, which is why I'm surprised that they submitted their stuff for New Music Nation. Uh, they're the Mono Whales. The Mono Whales uh, formed in 2017. Mono Whales is better than their first name choice, which was Chlamydia Whales. Uh, Sally Shar, Jordan Sercosta, and Zach Zanardo are the Mono Whales, and one of the guys looks like Disney's Captain Hook. Uh, so why don't we play uh, Mono Whales, Real Love, on New Music Nation. What do you, hey, what do you think's in those bags? Those bags up there, what do you think's in them? Over there, there. What do you think's in those bags? Tuition money. Tuition money. That's the best answer we've had so far. Tuition money. Thank you very much, sir. Happy to. All right. Nice to meet you, Ed. Nice to meet you, too. What's your name? Ian. Ian, Ian, now we've met. Sure. Nice to meet you, Ian. All right, tuition money. That's, okay, let's go to Mono Wales. That is a good answer, though. is 1.2 gigawatts of punkabilly mayhem 
All right, I'm sure that you don't know what that means, and in fact, neither do I. It's just a tagline off of their website. But I know that I like punkabilly, which, if you haven't put it together, is a combination of punk and rockabilly. And if you haven't put it together, you're actually too stupid to be watching this. Go watch something else. I'm sure there's some idiot kicking another guy in the balls on YouTube that you can watch. Uh, the band is called the Black Frame Spectacles, and uh, that could be because the uh, drummer has black frame spectacles, but the spectacle could also refer to this video featuring white people dancing. At least, I think they're dancing. They look like they're trying to avoid being bit by mosquitoes. This is why white people shouldn't dance. Gay men, okay, they know how to dance. Some white women, they know how to dance. White people in general, white men, do not know how to dance. There's a reason that line dancing was invented. So you can't screw it up. Take a look at what I'm talking about. Enjoy the music and wince at the dancing here in Black Frame Spectacles. Bust out the boogie! It's time now. I'm here with Howlin' Circus. Oh! All right, uh, Jeff, are, where is the uh, where is the circus? Um, it could be wherever you want it to be. I mean, we're in one right now, I guess. But you're Howlin' Circus. You're not Howlin'. And I was expecting a bunch of werewolves to get out of a clown car. No. Uh, yeah. I mean. No, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. No, unfortunately not. But, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, so where did the name Howlin' Circus come from? Um, I think it was uh, a, a bit of a mix of uh, love for blues, like Howlin' Wolf, and uh, but then also I've just had, like, different bandmates uh, over, over the years in different places and people traveling in and out. So it's kind of been like a traveling circus, taking in people from all over to kind of... Uh, make it what it is and uh yeah you know what i like best about that explanation is at the top you said i think <laughs> yeah. like like anybody would know better than you you're not quite certain you're yeah. probably making it up as you go have you ever thought about like doing a motif where you wear like a wolf skin uh, howling no. oh! well, maybe maybe i should i think I'll a wolf idea. skin and a clown nose yeah May uh i don't know about a clown but yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe we could do, yeah, maybe some of that. Now, you bring a quiet introspection to a pulsing Eastern-inspired psychedelic sound, according to what I read about you. Right. So, knowing that, 
Describe your music and where it comes from. Um, well, I've always been interested in kind of a, the the vulnerability in a lot of music and being um, more thoughtful in it. You know, whereas a lot of rock music typically is just about bravado, machismo, and just kind of showing off like something macho. And I think, uh, yeah, I've, I've been drawn into kind of uh, that quiet introspection and understanding and, uh, uh, yeah, having a bit of a thoughtfulness in the, in the, in the music and the songwriting. So you're sort of uh, turning your back on machismo. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so you're showing the more vulnerable side, the softer side of Sears. Exactly. Yeah. you got to be a little softer now, and I think it's, uh, it's uh, really important. That's how you connect with people, and uh, relationships are, are more important than ever now these days. And that's what inspires you. Now, you're originally from the UK. That's right. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, born and raised, uh, born and raised in London, in the UK. Uh, my parents are Iraqi, uh, so there's a, there's a bit of an influence from kind of Brit pop music, uh, influence from Middle Eastern music as well. Um, but yeah, I'm. Uh, and you know, now I've, I'm I'm here and I'm part of the Canadian music scene. There's a bit of that influence too. too yeah. It's a bit backwards. Yeah. Canadian music scene? No, no, it's great. It's, oh, I've, been, I've, I've been influenced by the music scene here too. and um, The music scene here is great. The music industry sucks. <laughs> That's what you'll find. A uh, lot yeah. of talented artists like yourself, but the industry completely sucks. Yeah, I, 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 I've, I've, I've encountered some of those elements too, uh, and some some stuff that's been positive too, but uh, still, still learning and finding my way, for sure. You know what you should do? To really get more attention is Howlin' Circus. Every time you finish an answer, you should go, Ow! <laughs> Every time you finish an answer, it'll be, come on, you need a shtick. Everybody needs some kind of gimmick these days. Yes, I, I mean, yeah, we can't all be a sock for the cigar, but... Uh, no, and I'm helping you out here. I'm telling you, a wolf skin, yeah. and every time you finish your speaking, Ow! <laughs> Give that a try, Howling Circus. Yes, I woo, yeah. I'll do and that, I like maybe. it's not Howling Circus; it's Howling with an apostrophe. Yeah, I mean, I, I, actually, that was it. We were when we first came on the name. We we're like, should we put a G? Maybe not. I don't know. And then we got rid of it. and We're like, yeah, it looks cooler though. Now, how you say we? How many are there besides you? Uh, it's just me now. But when so, we... what was the we we're talking about? What the royal we? Because you come from London. <laughs> <laughs> Who's we? Uh, well, when we first started, we started in uh, in London with with a couple of friends from university. Okay, so there was a we Yeah, there, there. was a we. All right. And, and then it's it's just me. And, All right. Uh, yeah. So why do you say we? Because it sounds like more impressive? Uh, I think because at any time it could be a we. You know, it's, uh, it's it, there's, there's been people along the way who've helped out. And uh, I'd say it's just me, but, uh, you know, you can never get by anything as an indie artist on completely on your own anyway. But we can't get by anything on your own. That's By the way, as somebody who comes from London, you have wonderful teeth. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, you don't expect that from somebody from London, England. You've got wonderful teeth. Thank, thank you so much. Take, uh, I, obviously, you brush and floss yeah, regularly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, and I, I never smoked cigars, so yeah. All right, so. No, but but you did hand out pre-rolled joints at a at a at an event, didn't you? Yes, I did. I I am not much of a weed smoker, but I understand that maybe uh, people in the audience would like to. And it was right after Canada legalized weed, so... Did you have like a whole team of people rolling the joints, or was that just you again? No, uh, there was... I mean, I don't know. They just came pre-rolled. Eh? You know, they so. came pre-rolled? <laughs> I had no what, idea. did you order them like catering? Yeah. <laughs> like All right. Some uh, weed fairies just uh, fixing them up. Weed fairies? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now tell us about this video. Um, yeah, we, we filmed it with, uh, it was only a, a crew of only four people, very, very small, obviously we filmed it in lockdown. But four people, still we. Yeah, yeah. So, but it was just me on camera, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, yeah, we, we, you know, the song's called Only For A Night, and we decided to film it at night time, and just, uh, something very low content, very simple, because it was, I mean... There was an uh, there wasn't enough time and uh, budget and with lockdown the logistics were too difficult to do anything with a storyline and everything so we we're just like let's just do something simple where you just film me walking around the city at night. I can see how excited you are though, by the way you're selling that with such hype. <laughs> you're over the top. I, had I, you're over I, the top, man. I know. Had I howled, maybe at the end. You I see, I told you. I here, howled. here. Yeah. But before we go to the video, let's howl together, okay? Right. One, two, three. Howl. <laughs> You gotta really work on that, you gotta throw your head back. 
All right, here it is, our friend Howlin' Circus's video on Yo Canada. So behind me is one of the reasons I weep for humanity. There's a new information booth down here at Dundas Square in Toronto, and it's got a sloped roof, and there's a sign that says, do not climb on roof. Do you really need, like, anybody you need to tell 
that you shouldn't climb on this roof, you should let climb on this roof. So they'll fall, maybe die, and help prove Darwinism. I know that's a bit harsh, but aren't there enough idiots out there already? Like the one who's running the saw while I'm doing this? Jack off. Anyway, the uh, next video is from White Horse Yukon. Unbelievably, White Horse Yukon has music videos. I always figure they're just huddled together trying to keep warm. This is uh, Paris Pick and the Pricks. It's a bit of a, a throwback video uh, It's uh, in its styling. It looks a bit like a 1960s uh, or 1950s movie, uh, but it's, uh, it's entertaining anyway. That guy's really pissing me off with that. I'm going to go kick his ass after this is done. Anyway, the, uh, not to get distracted, the website said that Paris Pick, uh, the set of her, people are completely knocked out by her psychonic performances. When I first read that, I thought it said colonic performances. <laughs> I was like, what's that going to look like? Or poorly, what's that going to smell like? Thankfully, it is psychonic and not colonic and not a psychonic colonic. Uh, I'm sure there is stuff online of colonic performances, you know, like uh, colostomy bagpipes and things like that. If there is, please don't link me to it. I have enough nightmares when I close my eyes. All right. This is the video from uh, Paris Picking the Pricks called I Can't Help It here on New Music Nation.
Hey, hey, Eric. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. That's my friend, Eric. We met down here. We're pals now. Um, sometimes he has food in his beard and I don't know how to tell him. That's very, very awkward. When you're with somebody and they have food in their beard, like, how do you tell them there's food in their beard? Like, we don't have a universal symbol for that. Like, you don't want to embarrass the person, but you don't want to sit there looking at their food in their beard either. That's why I tend not to go eating places with people who have beards or long mustaches. Same problem. All right. Next and last video is uh, from Mike Byrne. It's, I don't know how to pronounce this, so forgive me. It's clearly a uh, First Nations name. It's Wapanaku. Wapanaku. All right, that's what I think, that it, I think it is. All right, don't forget to subscribe to uh, New Music Nation. Don't forget to go to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash New Music Nation. Help keep us going and uh, tell your friends about it. People always uh, see me here on the street and like, oh, Ed the Sock, but they don't know where to find me. So make sure you tell people, newmusicnation.ca. Hi, all these nice people. Some of them giving me dirty looks. All right, uh, Mike Byrne is from the Tabik First Nation in New Brunswick. He used to be with a band called the Kickin' Crotches, which they stole the only name I would use for a band. Kickin' Crotches. I love that name. All right, he plays indigenous folk rock, reached number one on the indigenous music countdown. And again, I ask, why do we ghettoize indigenous music? It's just music. It has a different background, but all music comes from somewhere, from some influence. These are actual artists who deserve to be in the mainstream, not just on indigenous charts. It's not that I, I, I take away their credit from winning these indigenous awards, but they deserve to be considered with mainstream acts. You'll see what I mean after you listen to this. This is Mike Byrne, Wapanaku on Yo Canada, and we'll see you next week.